Hi, we're back again at Barad Ministries. We're going to be moving on with the prayer. Um, we're studying uh, the Lord's Prayer today, and we're thinking, is it to be recited? Is, it, is there a teaching in it? And Maurice is going to help us understand the Lord's Prayer today. Hi, Maurice. Hi, Joseph. Uh, well, I think I should read it first. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we've looked at practical prayer. We've mm -hmm. looked at principles of prayer. Yep. And now Jesus tells us how to pray. Uh, we're going through the Sermon on the Mount, mm -hmm. obviously. So this is chapter 5, mm -hmm. verse 9. Okay. After this manner, so this type of prayer, he's not saying we have to say it mm -hmm. like a, a parrot every time, yeah. but this is the kind of prayer. <coughs> Maurice, you mean chapter 6, verse 9? I'm sorry, chapter yeah. 6, verse 9, yeah. that's mm -hmm. right. And he says, After this manner, therefore pray, Our Father which art in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. So I, I think even non-Christians know the Lord's Prayer. Anyone of my age, we mm -hmm. used to say it in school it's every cool. morning. Yeah. So most people know it, like the 23rd Psalm, even non-Christians mm -hmm. know it, yeah. like they know a bit of Shakespeare or mm -hmm. quotes from different people. So it's a very common, knowledgeable prayer. It's interesting because Jesus told us, when you pray, <laughs> go into your closet mm -hmm. and pray to your <clears throat> Father in secret. Yeah. And I've, I've maintained and argued that you can't teach private prayer because mm -hmm. it's relationship, relationship so you have to get to know yeah so it seems like i'm contradicting myself because now jesus tells us how to pray he is teaching us how to pray mm -hmm. but when we look at it closely we can see it's not a prayer to pray in the closet it's a public prayer yeah because of the wording of it so because of yes. the wording yeah. because it says you know give us this day not give me yeah our father, not my father. When yeah. I'm in private, I say, my father, mm -hmm. help me this day. Mm -hmm. Help me forgive my it's one enemies. one-to-one. One-to-one. Yeah. But here it's saying we. So it's a corporate prayer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say what I've not heard anyone else say. This is a prayer of the church. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's a prayer of intercession mm -hmm. for Jesus to come again. Mm -hmm. It's all about the kingdom. Okay. When Jesus comes, your kingdom come. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a prayer of intercession that Jesus will come and set his kingdom up on mm -hmm. earth. I think that's in context. Now, I'm not <coughs> criticising anyone. No. There's a hundred sermons on the Lord's Prayer. They tell you how to pray the Lord's Prayer in an hour yeah. and how to, you know, yeah. in private. Yeah. Well, that that's all right. You know, you can pray how you want in mm -hmm. private, but... Because I'm a teacher, I must put it in context. Yeah. It's in the law, it's in the Sermon on the Mount, for and it's reason. after mm -hmm. private prayer. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, when you pray for relationship, go into your closet, don't have people there. Pray mm -hmm. personally, yeah. my Father, give me. Mm -hmm. But when you do <coughs> pray in public, mm -hmm. this is the prayer. So this is the type of prayer for the church when yeah. you're in public. It's not to pray in secret, mm -hmm. although I'm not criticising people who do, but mm -hmm. this is in context. Another, so, another thing, I think, at the beginning of it, there's a problem with translations of different Bibles because I like what it says here, after this manner, therefore pray. You know, in some, in some versions it says, say this. Yes. You know, it's some different, so people are a bit confused and it's, it's a bit of a challenge. That's the problem with different mm. versions. You can yeah. make your own doctrines up now. If I say go and check the Bible, they'll say which one. Yeah. Because they all say something different. Yeah. So, you know, say this, that means that's what you say, but it yeah. says in the authorized, after this manner, this yes. type of. Yeah. So it's, it's just giving yeah. you guidelines. It's not yeah. saying say it. Yeah. Okay. So I've got three things about the Lord's Prayer. Number mm -hmm. one, it's public. That's for sure because mm -hmm. it's all corporate. You know, mm -hmm. give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debt. Lead us not into temptation. So it's it's, it's mm -hmm. not personal. Yeah. For number two, 
It's educational. Yeah. I would say that all public prayer, you're not just praying to God, you're praying for the ears of the people. Yeah. So you, you, it's a corporate prayer so that we can say amen. Mm -hmm. you, you're praying for all the people who are listening so mm -hmm. that they can say amen. And so we know amen is in, it's a kind of an agreement, right? It's an kind agreement. Of a, uh, yeah. Yeah. When you say amen, yeah. you mean I agree to yeah, that. You're yeah, you're proving, yeah, okay, you are proving. So so yeah. you're praying for the ears of the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for number three, it's about the future kingdom. It's a prayer of intercession, I've said that already. So we need to go through it. It's a very simple study, let's just go through it. Mm -hmm. So first of all, it says, verse 9, after this man I pray, mm -hmm. our Father which art in heaven. So... We need to look at every verse. Why doesn't it say, oh, look, Jesus? Why doesn't it tell us to pray to Jesus or pray to the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. There's lots of teaching now, uh, mainly from, I think it came from Benny Hinn mainly, where, mm -hmm. you know, good morning, Holy Ghost, where he called the Holy Ghost his senior partner. And, you know, <laughs> we pray to God, we pray to Jesus. Yeah. Why neglect the third person of the Trinity? We should yeah. be praying to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And it sounds good, yeah. but I can't find anywhere in the Bible. You see, sounding good is not uh, good enough for me. Yeah. It has to, You have to bring me a scripture, not your idea. And I can't find anywhere where anyone prayed to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When Paul writes letters to the church, his greetings from God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. There's no greetings from the Holy Ghost in all the epistles from God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. Yeah. In fact, the Holy Ghost is the one that reveals Jesus. He's the one that helps. We don't pray to him. He prays through us to the Father. It said the Holy Ghost will pray with groanings that can't be uttered. Yeah. <laughs> so he prays through us. We don't pray to him. So I can't find anywhere to justify praying to the Holy Ghost. Well, it happens in some of these churches. Like, you know, the, more these people just get excited and talk all kinds of, and they add things and they make yeah. things worse than they. Sure. The I, simplicity of the Bible, the, the gospel is there, but yeah, it you, just yeah. You anyway. just have to read your Bible. Yeah, you know. Um, so it sounds good. Doesn't we mean don't that it's pray God's to name. Jesus. Yeah. We pray to the Father in, in the Jesus' name. name. Yes. So he gives us the authority, yes. and the access to He's the intermediate. He's the intercessor. Mm -hmm. So we pray through Jesus. So yeah. we say, Father, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name, because Jesus has redeemed me, because yeah. I'm his child, I'm a child of God through Jesus. He's mm -hmm. always the way to God. And he told us so in John 14. If you ask anything in my name. I'll do it. Yeah. So that's important yeah. because people don't know who to pray to. Yeah. Pray to the Father, yeah. Yeah. our Father which art in heaven. The second one, hallowed be our name. Hallowed means holy be yeah. your name. And holy means separate. So different. Separate. Different, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> let your name be different than every other name on the planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus was a common name in Israel. It just, mm -hmm. It's just the Joshua of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So it was a common name, but... It, Name denotes the character, so let Jesus yeah. himself, not, not the name. Mm -hmm. There's no power in the name of Jesus, J-U-S-U-S. -S. It's yeah, just a name. Yeah. It's the person mm -hmm. that the power is in, not a name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Catholic teaching. You know, the power is in the relic. If you touch the holy, bring all you yeah. sprinkle with holy water. The power is always in the, the, the physical. But there's no power in the name. Mm -hmm. It's the person. So whatever you call Jesus, it's the same power. If you say Lord in the name of my Lord, mm -hmm. it's the same as saying Jesus. Are you, you going know? to break it down with the name issue? Because there's a, a lot of verse say the name, but we know you know. Every, I mean, people can say that name, the name of Jesus, but they need to understand it's not the alphabet. It's the, the weight that comes with that name. Yeah. Well, Jesus and, is a swear word. To the unbelievers, yeah. They, they yeah. put it on to an expletive, don't they? Yeah. They use the F word and yeah. Jesus in the same breath. So there's no power in that. Oh, Maurice, that's painful. I, I heard it so many times, even at work. I, it's okay. literally, I feel, it's because like... Because we value the person. It's not the yeah. name. It's because yeah. they, they're criticising our lover, our husband. They're so, they're so creative now in those swearing. The way they insert the name. 
<laughs> it's, they're very creative. Maurice, honestly, I want, so I want to jump from behind the desk, like, and then I go, oh, Lord, I understand. But they don't know any better. It's just no. a word to them. No. It's just a word. No. But if, if my wife calls me Maurice, that's my name. But if she says my husband, mm -hmm. it's still me. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to say Maurice every mm -hmm. time. She can say my spouse, yeah. my husband, mm -hmm. my lover. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same person. So we've mm -hmm. got hung up about the name J U S U S. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it, it's the person that's powerful. Now, could it could it be that whoever calls on that name has to understand, or could it could it be that if, let's say your wife, there is a a reverence, there's a respect, there is that love between you, so you can hear. Her calling, yeah. because do you think anybody calling just a name, 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 you know? No. Well, Jesus has to acknowledge your wife you. Loves Joseph. Yeah. But it's not the name. She doesn't love another Joseph. Yeah. If if I say, mm -hmm. oh Patricia, my name's Joseph, she won't love me. She doesn't love <laughs> Joseph. She loves you. It's the person. Yeah. And if you will call Fred, she'd yeah. love Fred. So Jesus will recognize if somebody's calling his name, he might recognize, or the other one will say. I don't know you. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 that's biblical, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to do a whole week next week. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at Hallowed Be Thy Name. Because yeah. I, I had some revelation on it, so yes. I'm leaving that. I now. think that's We've important. covered it a little bit. That's good, yeah. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't say our kingdom come. Mm -hmm. It's not about the church. Mm -hmm. May the church be established. Mm -hmm. It's about the kingdom that Jesus is bringing him when he comes again. Mm -hmm. We've got the parable. The man went away to obtain a kingdom yeah. and he left his servants to, as stewards. Mm -hmm. And it says, and having obtained the kingdom, he came back mm -hmm. and then he said, what have you done with what I gave you? Mm -hmm. So, I think people accept that's Jesus. He's mm -hmm. gone away and he's coming back. Mm -hmm. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with, with me. me. He's coming to set up his kingdom. Mm -hmm. The disciples were always asking, Lord, will when? you at this time set yeah. up the kingdom? They know that mm -hmm. Israel know mm -hmm. that Jesus is coming. The Messiah is mm -hmm. coming to set up the kingdom. Mm -hmm. They just thought it was the first coming. Mm -hmm. We know the first coming wasn't to set up the kingdom. No. Well, but, well, it was if they accepted him, but they rejected him. So now yeah. it let the Gentiles in. Now it's the time of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. When Jesus brings his kingdom in, the, the time of the Gentiles is finished. Mm -hmm. It will scroll up again. Mm -hmm. And it's like the first and second coming are all one to Israel. Mm -hmm. okay. But to us, there's two comings. Mm -hmm. But when it comes the second time, that's the first coming to, to Israel, mm -hmm. but it's really the second. Mm -hmm. So he'll, he'll set up the kingdom. So we've got to be careful that my ministry is my kingdom. Yeah. It's your kingdom come, not my ministry and mm -hmm. my church and my denomination. Mm -hmm. We're building, that's Babylon. Mm -hmm. Let's make a name for ourselves so we're not mm -hmm. scattered. We're the offscourings of the earth. We mm -hmm. don't have a name. We're, we're not recognised, or mm -hmm. we shouldn't be. When we're recognised, it's because we're building Babylon. Mm -hmm. Is this not great Babylon that mm -hmm. I have built? So we've got to be very careful. We're <coughs> praying for his kingdom to come. Mm -hmm. Lord, return to earth and set up your kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's not about praying for the church, mm -hmm. the Lord's so, prayer. It's praying for Jesus to come again. So at this point, uh, when I was reading a few, you know, when you read Romans 14, 17, it talks about the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So could it be that if the Holy Spirit is in, is in us, we have the seeds of the kingdom already? or Yeah. We don't have the seeds. We have the I don't. Kingdom. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying to because be, yeah. At the moment, the kingdom is within us. Yes, the kingdom exactly. has come. It's mm. come inside us. That's it. Yeah. Jesus said the kingdom doesn't come with observation. observations. Yeah. The kingdom of God is within a man. Yeah. So it, the church isn't the kingdom. The kingdom is within us. That yes. spirit of God, that life. But when Jesus comes, the kingdom will be physical, physical and yeah. manifest again. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to Christians that. mix yeah. that up. The yeah. kingdom is within us mm -hmm. now. When somebody accepts Jesus, we say, oh, another soul in the kingdom. Yes. But really, we've put another kingdom in the soul. That's, put that's the a good point. The that person. is a good point. Yeah. The person doesn't come into the kingdom. Yeah. How can they come into the kingdom? It's not there yet, yeah. the physical kingdom. So, so we put yeah. the kingdom in people. That's good because that helps me to understand that we're really training. Yes, for raising. This is the, Oh, yes. Because the, the sermon on the money is really that 
what you call it? Um, the manifesto. Yes, absolutely. Where you get the principles of the kingdom, yeah. the character of the king, the citizen of so the kingdom. So we can reign with Christ. Yes, amen How that. can you reign with Christ mm. if you're not merciful? How mm. can you reign with Christ if you've not got a pure heart? How, how can you reign with Christ if you're proud and not yeah. humble? So the, the Beatitudes, that's the kingdom lifestyle. Yeah. We've got to get it in us yeah. to qualify to reign with I Christ. I have my answer, Maurice, because... How come you, how, that is the answer. Because somebody asked me, I'm a Christian already, why do I need a sermon on the man? Now I can answer that you need a sermon on the man because this is it. This is a character. This is the one that the Lord expects to reign and rule with him, basically. If you get the kingdom within now, yeah. you can get the kingdom without when Jesus comes. Yeah. But if, if you've not got the kingdom lifestyle in mm -hmm. you, the sermon on the mount, mm -hmm. when Jesus comes and sets up his kingdom, you're not part of it. You haven't got the kingdom within you. You're saved. Yeah. yeah. But you haven't got that kingdom lifestyle. So yeah. how can you reign with Christ? Mm -hmm. So the kingdom will only come. Mm -hmm. And it's after Babylon falls when the church is finished. Yeah. Let, let's read it. Um, we need to start reading scriptures. This is when the seals are beginning to mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. I'll read it first. Time. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw this. Under the altar, the souls of them that were slain for the word of God, right. these are martyrs. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going into that. No, no not are. today. <laughs> yes. For the testimony which said, But they cried with a loud voice, saying, mm -hmm. How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? When are you going to come and set up your kingdom yeah. and judge between the righteous and the unrighteous? When are you going to come? So they're pleading with God. Mm -hmm. For the kingdom to come, they're praying yeah. the Lord, the same as the Lord's prayer. Yeah. Your kingdom come on earth, Lord. Yeah. When are you going to come? There's there's war in Russia at the moment against Ukraine, isn't there? Mm -hmm. the, the world's in the mess. The immorality of the world uh, as I can't it's glamorized now. It's I just, can't yeah. believe how it's dropped since I was a, a boy. Yeah. Uh, and surely the church should be saying, oh, Lord, your kingdom come. When are you going to come and reign in righteousness? Mm -hmm. A king shall reign in righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's the millennium. Mm -hmm. and, and the church should be longing for it. But the church <laughs> wanted to build bigger, 10 million for a, a crystal cathedral. And, you know, we, we've got to do yeah. this. And, and they're looking to expand the church instead mm -hmm. of saying, oh, Lord, come and get us out of all this mess. Mm -hmm. I know we have to evangelize, but often they're building the church, the organization. Mm -hmm. If they spent that 10 million on winning the lost instead of putting a building up, okay. maybe they'd have a desire for souls. Mm -hmm. But it's all about, it's become a business, hasn't it? An empire. So, yeah. When, oh Lord, when will you come and avenge us? So let's mm -hmm. read when it, when it yeah. will happen. Mm -hmm. So this is just after the fall of Babylon, mm -hmm. chapter mm -hmm. 19, 18. Yeah. It's about the fo Babylon fall. That's mm -hmm. a religious system, the counterfeit. Yeah. It, and, and it includes all the commerce and everything. Yeah, it yes. falls. Mm -hmm. And now verse, chapter 19, verse 2. After this, I'm reading from verse 1. Mm -hmm. After... These things I heard a great voice of much people in the heaven said, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God, for true and righteous are his judgment, for he has judged the great whole which did corrupt the earth with a fornication, and has avenged the blood of the servants at mm -hmm. your hand. So yeah. that they're crying, When, O Lord, mm -hmm. well, when Babylon falls, that's the avenging, because mm -hmm. it says in Babylon, all the blood of all that was slain on the earth, not mm -hmm. some, all that was slain mm -hmm. is a system of a Babylon. Every war, mm -hmm. every genocide, mm -hmm. uh, every murder is 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 because of the system of Babylon. Yeah. It started in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. And straight after, verse 11, mm -hmm. and I saw heaven open and a white horse mm -hmm. and him that sat on it was faithful and true. Mm -hmm. And he comes with the armies of heaven mm -hmm. to set up his kingdom. So mm -hmm. Babylon falls, mm -hmm. that's when he avenges them. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the kingdom comes. Mm -hmm. So do you think people are not crying out for a kingdom today because they're satisfied? Yeah. They don't want Jesus to come and spoil all the plans. Why would Jesus come when we just half built the new sanctuary? Yeah, because yeah. you can feel they, they were crying because they just, you know, like in Hebrews 11, they said they didn't want anything from this world. They didn't, they just were looking forward to, and maybe that's why they, today they're so satisfied. 
They're they living, think they're doing it. They're living for this world. Yeah. And the kingdom is the church. So yeah. they're putting all their money, all yeah. the resources, mm. all their energies, all mm. the press into the church. Mm. But they're putting it into Babylon. It's a bag full of holes. Mm -hmm. They should be putting treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm for Jesus to bring but so it's wood hay and stubble it'll all be burnt up every every penny that's spent on a building will be burnt up mm. when Jesus comes it, yeah. it's 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 sad but but we can only preach what we we see in the bible so the kingdoms of this world mm -hmm. will become the kingdoms of Christ oh, let me read it Ele revelation 11 Revelation 11, verse 15. Mm -hmm. This is the seventh angel. And the seventh angel sounded, and there was great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have mm -hmm. become the kingdoms of Christ, and he mm -hmm. shall reign forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Ever and ever means to the end yeah. of the age, mm -hmm. for the thousand years. Mm -hmm. So that's when it will happen. Mm -hmm. That's when his king the kingdoms of this world, mm -hmm. Jesus will come and take over. It's yeah. like a, a military coup mm -hmm. where you depose of the dictator and mm -hmm. somebody else takes over you change the government mm -hmm. and, and the kingdoms you know of the world become the kingdoms of christ mm -hmm. it's it's so your kingdom come basically your rule comes that your you, rule yeah you can rule and your reign. one world order yes. we now satan yeah. is now setting up his one world order yeah and, and it will succeed mm -hmm. he'll get it he'll, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll every, all the world will worship him mm -hmm. as a god mm -hmm. If not, you'll be killed. Mm -hmm. But then Jesus will come mm -hmm. and set up his one world order. Mm -hmm. The kingdoms, the one world order of Satan will be destroyed and the one world system of God will be set up. Mm -hmm. And Jesus will do that. The church as an organization can't bring about the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. There's no mandate to bring the kingdom in. Mm -hmm. I know we've got we have to preach the kingdom and bring the kingdom in and, mm -hmm. you know. Welcome, majesty, come in. You know, the church will Christianize the world and then Jesus mm -hmm. will come and take his rightful place. Mm -hmm. That That's Catholic theology. Mm -hmm. They have to Christendom, the kingdom of Christ. We've got mm -hmm. to take over the world. There's no mandate to take over the world, to take cities for Jesus. Mm -hmm. The mandate is to preach to the whole world yes. mm -hmm. and leave them to accept or reject. Those yeah. that believe will be saved, those mm -hmm. that don't will be damned. Mm -hmm. It's not of our business, the results. Mm -hmm. Our mandate is to tell every man, woman and child on the planet that mm -hmm. Jesus died for them. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to build a church. We're not trying to save souls mm -hmm. we can't save souls there's nothing in the bible that says save souls mm -hmm. win the lost mm -hmm. we preach the gospel so we Jesus to pray will build his church so we to pray that kingdom come and we to preach the kingdom of we, yeah. we preach the kingdom within yes because he came preaching the kingdom and he said this gospel of the kingdom you know will be, be preached. preached yes yeah so, so we, we preach yeah. the, the kingdom within yeah mm -hmm. And, and tell them mm. the kingdom's coming. If you yeah. get the kingdom within, when mm. Jesus comes, you'll rise with him and yeah. you'll reign with him. Mm. You'll get the physical kingdom. And it should be exciting, Maurice, because there are promises in sure. it. Behold, I'm coming with my reward. You know, it's for me, it's exciting. So I believe these are exciting times to even preach the gospel, to be honest. And it's, it's just, there has to be, uh, maybe there has to be a burden in people's heart to preach the gospel, really, because... People are looking for answers. Yes. Whenever there's a stress, wars, and all of that, people look for some kind of answer somewhere. Yeah. But if so, the church should be able to pray for the kingdom to come and to preach that kingdom, so people can see an alternative. Yeah. Because right now the church is panicking like the world. So yeah. People don't see yeah. any difference. And, and yet we we should yeah. have the answer. The Bible has all the answers. Yeah. So. For when calamities happen, wars, yeah. for how to bring up your family, how mm -hmm. to bring up your children, how to treat your wife. The Bible has the answer yeah. for everything, Joseph. So the church mm -hmm. as a living body mm -hmm. can't bring about the kingdom, mm -hmm. but we can prepare for the kingdom. That's yeah. what the, that's what their Sermon on the Mount's all about. Mm -hmm. And we come come out of Babylon. Let's mm -hmm. read it, Revelation the system. Uh, 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that religious system. So, so this is important, really. So, Babylon is that relation, that 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 system, commerce, 
just to define some terms for people to understand. It's yeah. Well, it's it's. I know you have studies on it. Hinduism yeah. and Buddhism yeah. and Christianity. Mm. Yes, it's part of Babylon. They're all religion. Every. And, I'm just doing and Judaism. Wrong. God does God hate religion? Mm. And the answer is yes. God hates all religion. All religion, all forms. Of religion. It doesn't yeah. matter. Christianity clearly mm -hmm. hates it yeah. because God. Jesus died to give us a relationship, not a religion. That's good. We've, we've turned it into a religion, call mm -hmm. it Christianity. Yeah. And we've got rules and dogma and mm -hmm. doctrines. Mm -hmm. But it's about relationship. Mm -hmm. Every religion mm -hmm. sticks to God because mm -hmm. it's organisation, it's mm -hmm. catechism, it's it's rules. Mm -hmm. we're, we're free. See, people don't, people don't associate Babylon and religion, you see. No. But... But the, the, well, but the, the, the all the whole system has to include the religious system as well. There's only one religion, mm -hmm. and that's Babylon. Everything belongs to Babylon. <laughs> that's it. God's way. Yeah. There's not a good religion and yeah. a bad one. It's yeah. not Christianity is God's religion, mm -hmm. and all the others are bad. Yeah. Okay. God has yeah. no religion. God hates it. Yes. Every religion, including mm -hmm. Christianity, mm -hmm. has a religion. Yeah. God hates mm -hmm. because he's into relationship mm -hmm. and he can't have both. If I have a relationship with God, the creator of the universe, a personal relationship, what do I need a religion for? Yeah. And if I have a religion, it hinders the personal relationship because mm -hmm. a religion, it's corporate. You all do the yes. same thing. Yeah. It's not personal anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all go to church at a certain time. Yeah. We all pray. We all fast. We all do the same. We all believe the same things. Mm -hmm. that, that's religion. Relationship, you all believe different things. I disagree with my wife about how to bring the children up or what colour the room should be. We don't all agree. Mm -hmm. Relationship doesn't mean it means unity, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean conformity. Yeah. We're not all the same. That's a major difference. Yeah. yeah. So, Revelation. So, yeah, so, yeah, we're, we're talking about, yeah, we're talking Revelation about verse, Babylon, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when Babylon falls, mm -hmm. when Jesus comes to judge, mm -hmm. let us be, uh, verse 7, let us be glad and rejoice and mm -hmm. give honour to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife has made, made herself, herself ready. ready. Yeah. So Jesus will not prepare the bride. We have to prepare ourselves. The bride mm -hmm. has made herself ready. Yeah. The husband, I don't get my wife ready to marry me. She mm -hmm. she has a sister's mm -hmm. that uh, maids in waiting. Or all mm -hmm. they get her ready. They put the wedding dresser on. They mm -hmm. make her hair nice. Mm -hmm. The bridegroom has nothing to do with preparing the bride. Mm -hmm. She prepares herself and is presented. Mm -hmm. So. Jesus has nothing to do with the preparation. He's waiting for us to be prepared yeah. so he can come and take us to himself. Mm -hmm. So the onus is on the church. The bride has made herself ready. So we have Ephesians 4, 11 that says, God has said in the church, pastors, you know, apostles, to equip the saints. Very good. To prepare the bride. Exactly. Till we all come yeah. in the fullness mm -hmm. of the knowledge of the, the Son of God. Yeah. So we become like Christ. So yeah. we're fit for Christ. That's mm -hmm. the job of the five ministries. Yeah. It's not to win souls. It's not to teach. It's yeah. not to prophesy. This is a means to an end. The no. means to, but yeah. the end is mm -hmm. till we all come in yes. the unity of the yeah. faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. Mm -hmm. So it's it's consistent. And it's, it's clear. It just, uh, Maurice, it's like, the, the, I don't know what to say. I can't say I want the church to, to wake up. That don't. I don't know if maybe it's not the church we see. Maybe the real church of Christ is, a, is alive. Sure. But it's what we see that is portrayed at the church that is yeah. just not the church, so to speak. Well, that's a challenge, Maurice. There's division in the church. Yeah. There's denominations in the church, mm -hmm. but there's no division in the bride of Christ. There we go. There's no division. And we have to make that distinction, really. And uh, if there's division, it's mm -hmm. not the bride. No. It can't be. How come there's fighting and wars between you because you're lust and have not you adulterers <laughs> and adulteresses? Yeah. Then there's, there's always yeah. unity. Christ, yeah. Paul said, is Christ divided? No. no. Did, did, did Paul die for you? You know, so he says you're carnal. Yeah. Where one says, I'm a Paul, I'm yeah. a Apollos, I'm a Baptist, I'm a Pentecostal, mm -hmm. I'm a Calvinist. Mm -hmm. He said, forget all that. Mm -hmm. You're one in Christ. Amen. So Amen. the denominations proves we've not got unity yeah. and we're not the bride of Christ. Yeah. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. people. 
that you be not partakers of her sins. This is before he judges Babylon. Mm -hmm. So before Jesus judges Babylon, the bride has to get out. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because Jesus says, come out of her, my people. people. So he expects his people to be in Babylon in the last days. And else why would he say, come out, my people? Yeah. So it's all right to be in Babylon. He expects the church to be in Babylon. Yeah. That's how I was brought up. I was part of the church system. It's a, it's a bit of a parallel when he said to Jeremiah, look, they're going. And they can go there, they settle. Yeah. And, um, you know, do whatever you have to do. When the time will come, they will come out with Daniel. And that's a prophecy. And, and God's put the church, yeah. we, we keep going back into Babylon. But now he says it's time come to out. come out. Yes. But those who came out with mm -hmm. Ezra, mm -hmm. whoever is a willing heart. Yes. It wasn't forced. Mm -hmm. Many people want to stay in Babylon because mm -hmm. they've got wives now, they've got children, yeah. they've got a business. 70 well, years. Now the children didn't yeah. even know about Israel. They were wow. born in Babylon. Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Babylon. They I looked was like born Babylonians. Yep. I was born in Babylon. I didn't know, they didn't know the Jewish language. Surely they were born in Babylon. <laughs> it reminds me of, you know, when you're a non-Christian, then you become a Christian, but you bring all the baggage. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's so easy. It's but easy. The call is now. I believe yeah. it's all right for the, for, yeah. for the church to be a religion. Yeah. But now in the last days, yeah. the bride's got to get ready yeah. and it's got to come out of the world yeah. and out of the religious system, Babylon yeah. system. That yeah. doesn't mean you don't meet together, you don't have yeah. fellowship, yeah. you can't have a building to meet in. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the physical, I'm talking about the spiritual. Get out yeah. of that religious system. Because yeah. most Christians, they're religious. Even those who've left the church and fell out with the church and say, mm -hmm. oh, I don't go to church, I fell out with them, I can't mm -hmm. stand all the nonsense and mm -hmm. hypocrisy they're still religious Maurice, they you... can't get free they bring Babylon with them it's if... in us so I'm not talking about leaving yeah. a church or the dumps. I'm talking about it leaving you yeah like you said before you know for Egypt to come out of people you leave Egypt but Egypt is not coming Maurice during the pandemic people were doing church online but they still were religious. They still act yeah. like, they, you know, they, they sing three songs and they did the same thing. And I thought, you yeah. know. They can't get away from no. a service, a religious yes. service. They, 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 oh. there shouldn't be any service when you meet together. One yeah. is a psalm, one is a yeah. tongue, one is a prophecy. Yeah. It's, it's Let all things be done decently in order. But mm -hmm. it's the one man show, the man's yeah. at the front. Yeah. And if you want to speak, you have to go up on the yeah. stage. Mm -hmm. So, so. <laughs> There was no stages anymore. No. So, so basically, there's hope. There's hope because the, the, the leaders of the church should be equipping the saints. And there's hope as well. The Holy Spirit, you know, Ephesians 1 tells us the Holy Spirit is guarantee of our salvation. He helps us as well to prepare because we're talking about the bride being prepared. So God has left us a means by which we can prepare ourselves the problem is yeah. we have the holy ghost the chaperone to get the bride there we go i like that word chaperone yeah. but the problem is is sensitive yeah is a dove yeah and you see when we're religious he leaves the yeah. holy ghost is there mm -hmm. to help us yeah. but he's easily grieved and so we stop yeah. the holy ghost prepares because when we're convicted yeah. we push it aside because we yeah. love the world yeah. we don't want to get our spots out of our wedding yeah. garment the little things in our life the faults not the sins but yeah. the faults yeah the discrepancies the mm. things that hinder us we don't want to get rid of those mm -hmm. i like my entertainment i like this i like yeah. that see these little things the little foxes that spoil about Ephesians 4 30 don't grieve the holy spirit yeah don't grieve he's, he's easily spirit. grieved so yeah. it is there to prepare us but yeah. it, if you convicted and you harden yourself yeah. up He'll say, okay, I'll leave you. He won't, the Holy yeah. Spirit will never push. Yeah. You've got to be willing. You've got to invite him. So, your kingdom come on earth. Mm -hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I know people pray that, but it can't mean what we think it does. It can't mean physical food. Mm -hmm. It can't mean that because the Bible says, take no thought for your food, what you'll eat, what you'll drink. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, yes. nor his seed begging bread. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to beg from a person mm -hmm. and you don't have to beg God, oh, please, Lord, will you provide food today? Mm -hmm. My children never have to beg me. 
and asked me for food. Dad, you will feed me, won't you? You won't let me starve. I'll say, son, why are you saying that? Don't you trust me? If I've got a loaf of, only a slice of bread, I'll share it with you. If it's the last slice of bread, I'll share it. And, and as one man said, if that's not enough, you can have the whole lot and I'll go hungry. You'd feed your kids. You wouldn't let your kids be naked. Oh, Dad, you, you, you'll, you'll, you will clothe me, won't you? I don't want to run around naked. Even if I've been to Africa and they have rags, but they clothe the kids. You know, it, it's, well, I mean, it's warm in Africa, so mm -hmm. you could run around naked. But in those colder countries <laughs> yeah. where there's poor, yeah. they clothe the kids. They'll, they'll put rags on them. Yes, they'll do something. Absolutely. But, so any good father would clothe his kids. So we shouldn't need to. Pray, should we? Mm -hmm. uh, John 6. So mm -hmm. it can only mean spiritual food. Yeah. Because don't forget, this is the prayer of the church. Mm. And the church don't need mm -hmm. food, eggs and ham and mm -hmm. cheese, do they? If the church are praying, Lord, mm -hmm. feed us today, they're certainly not saying, give us provisions. Mm -hmm. For our physical, if mm -hmm. it's a corporate prayer of the church, in private, maybe I could pray, Lord, mm -hmm. I have no food today. Mm -hmm. So, John but, 6, yeah. But I refuse to pray for food and clothes mm -hmm. because I'm insulting my father. Yeah. I, I, I just, now if I need a car, mm -hmm. I'll say, Lord, the car's kaput now I need a, a, another car yeah. if I need a holiday Lord mm -hmm. I'm tired it would be great if, if mm -hmm. you could provide for a holiday because mm -hmm. I live by faith I have no mm -hmm. income so I have to pray for those things but I, I refuse I, I'll refuse to pray pray for food and raiment mm -hmm. because, because the Bible says it it's later in the Sermon on the Mount maybe you should just look at it yeah Matthew chapter I know in Matthew 6, he talks about, he said, don't worry, seven times in one chapter, in Matthew chapter 6. That's it. And Because your father knows what you have need of. Yeah, let's just, yeah. just read it so that people know. So it can't, if it's a prayer of the church anyway, yeah. you wouldn't pray for personal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can only mean spiritual food, mm -hmm. the bread from heaven. Mm -hmm. Feed us now My and name. evermore. That's mm -hmm. the, the, the mm -hmm. hymn that they sing. Mm -hmm. So it says sometimes, take the thought for your life. This is Matthew 6, mm -hmm. verse 25 to the end. Mm -hmm. Verse 31, therefore, take no thought, say, don't, don't let it be important. Don't, mm -hmm. don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. What shall we eat or what shall we drink? Mm -hmm. Or how will we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Mm -hmm. that, that's what the world seek, food mm -hmm. and clothes. I'm not in the world. Mm. I'm serving my Heavenly Father. I've come out of the world, so mm. I don't think about these things. It's not important to me. Mm. I have clothes to keep me warm and cover my nakedness, not to make a fashion statement, statement. not to say I'm cool. <laughs> I eat to live. I don't mm. live to eat. Mm. I, I'm not living, oh, we're having caviar this weekend and mm. champagne. Mm. I don't mind if I have bread and water. Mm. It's just to keep my body alive. Mm -hmm. It's not important. Food becomes a status. Clothes yes, become a status yeah, yeah. to the world. It mm. shouldn't be for us. Yeah. I've got True. a suit, so if I'm going mm. to a businessman's mm. dinner, I'll, mm. I'll wear a, a suit. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm round the garden, I won't wear a suit. I'll wear some jeans with a hole mm. in and paint marks on. It, it doesn't. Mm. It's not important. You could say you will provide for it anyway. For all these things are the Gentiles. Seek. Your heavenly Father knows, knows that you have need of these yeah. things. Seek first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. If I'm seeking to get the kingdom within me, mm -hmm. which I am, mm -hmm. and I may be weak in it, and I know you are. So mm -hmm. if you're seeking the kingdom within, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about food and clothes. If you're not seeking the kingdom within mm -hmm. and you're seeking the kingdom without, mm -hmm. then the kingdom without is to do with food and clothes yeah, and things of this and world. houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're seeking first the kingdom within. Mm -hmm. So why would I bother what's without mm -hmm. a car and a house? God knows how to look after mm -hmm. me. I just have to trust my father mm -hmm. that he won't let me starve. And I have confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, since Joanna and I have lived by faith, mm -hmm. and God told me maybe mm -hmm. 40 years ago now mm -hmm. to not earn any more money the rest mm -hmm. of my life. Mm -hmm. I've never earned a penny since. And we've never starved. And God's provided a car mm -hmm. for us. And we, we've had new cars at times. Now we've got a second down one. But it's of no importance. Mm -hmm. 
And I always have clothes. I, I, I can look smart and my wife can. Mm -hmm. So I've proved it over yeah. 40 he years provides. Yeah. That, that God can provide mm -hmm. if you trust him. Yeah. That's a key word, actually. A key Chris phrase is a trust issue. But Christians don't have yeah. faith. They say God's my provider, but yeah. they, they provide for themselves. God's my healer, but they, they go to the doctor. <laughs> you know, God's my insurance. God, yeah. God's yeah. everything I need, yeah. but they're, they're insured up to the eyeballs because yeah. they, they trust the world. If yeah. anything happens, they don't trust God. Yeah. So when it comes to it, mm -hmm. Christians believe in the head, yes. but they don't believe in the heart yes. because faith... Yeah. It's what's in the head manifested out of the, the mouth and the heart. It's more statements, right? So give us this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. So John 6. So I'm convinced that this prayer is about spiritual food. <laughs> Feed me this day mm -hmm. with the bread of heaven, the word of life. Mm -hmm. That's my sustenance. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus said, my meat is to yes, do the I was will going of to say that. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, Jesus told them off mm -hmm. for seeking the, the bread. He fed yeah. 5,000, and the next day they all came round for another free meal. Yeah. And he told them off. Verse 25 mm -hmm. of, of Matthew chapter 6. When they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, how did you get here? Came us thou hither? Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, mm. but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. <laughs> You're looking for the physical food. Mm -hmm. Labour not for the meat which perisheth, mm -hmm. but for the meat which endures unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give you, mm -hmm. for him hath the Father sealed. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we say, Lord, feed the church, feel the body of Christ, feel the bride. Mm -hmm. Give the bride the sustenance, the vitamins, the nutrients spiritually yeah. that we need. Yeah. Because when you take food, mm -hmm. your body extracts nutrients, vitamins, yeah. mm -hmm. all sorts of chemicals out of it. So when we read the Bible, the word of God, this should feed us. And our spiritual man takes out the nutrients, the vitamins, mm -hmm. the things that feed us. Yeah. Your body... Is different than mine, so it may need more magnesium, more yeah. calcium, more vitamin D. Mm -hmm. My body is different. So yeah. when I read the word of God, we all get something different. Yes. Your revelation is different than mine because I'm at a different stage in my growth. True. A child, mm -hmm. when you're growing, a teenager, you mm -hmm. can eat for the country. Yes, I know about that. As one. you know about <laughs> yeah. When you're my age, yeah. I eat half what I ate yeah. and I'm still putting weight on wow. because I'm not burning the energy. Mm. So we all need different things. So to think that everyone should get the same food is silly. Yeah. So it's saying, Lord, feed the church. You know what each one needs. You mm -hmm. know what this needs, this part of the body and that part of the body. Mm -hmm. Because the kidney takes different chemicals than the lungs mm -hmm. and the blood. Yeah. So, so, you know, a different group of people will take different things. But, Lord, feed your body today, the whole body, not mm -hmm. just us. It, it's praying for the bride. That's healthy because then it can, the bride will function properly. Yeah. When every member it has its own nutrition it's, and everything. Yeah, but yeah. that's we're all, we, we think that every church yeah. should have the same diet, the yeah. same food. And yeah. that's why we're sickly because, yeah. you know, the kidneys don't need what mm -hmm. the liver needs. Yeah. And the blood needs. So it's, churches should be individual and different, but they're all the same. It's, you go to a Baptist church, yeah. and they're all the same. Go to a Pentecostal church, they're all the same. It's really a challenge, Maurice, because that's why in most churches there's one man show. Because he seems to be fed, and then he feeds you little crumbs, basically. And they're waiting for that rather than feeding themselves from the yeah. Word of God, yeah. which is available. Yeah. You know, and I think that's a challenge. I mean, teaching is really, really desperately needed, Maurice. That's there's really a what famine I, of the yeah, word of God. Absolutely. Yeah. So give us this day our daily bread. We've mm -hmm. looked at that. Forgive us our trespasses. Mm -hmm. So if it's all about the church, <coughs> this isn't forgive me my sins. No. That's in the closet. Mm -hmm. You don't pray this in public. You don't you know, you confess your sins yeah. one to mm -hmm. another, not, yeah. not in public. Yeah. So what are the sins of the church? We should say, Lord, as a corporate body, mm -hmm. we're not lights in the country. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because light gets rid of darkness. The country's yeah. in darkness, in mm. immorality, in rebellion against yeah. God. Where's the light? Lord, forgive us. We've yeah. not witnessed. We've not stood up. When the COVID came, no. we went into our shells. We closed all the churches. Yeah, we instead did. of saying the country needs us at this yeah. time, we're necessary, as necessary as the National Health Service, because we're meeting people's needs when they're yeah. stressed, when they're lonely, when they're sick. This is what the church is for. We should be more important than the NHS because yeah. we've got spiritual food and spiritual yeah. help. But they're closed up. Forgive us, Lord. We've yeah. not stood up. We didn't stand up when they passed laws against immorality. We, we failed, Lord. Yeah. But the church very rarely confessed the faults. Yeah, we're passive. What about our yeah. blindness, Lord? We've not all seen it. What about the pride? Mm. I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos. Mm -hmm. We're Baptist. We're mm -hmm. Pentecostals. We're charismatics. That's pride. Mm -hmm. Why not say we're, we're, we're yeah. believers in Christ? We're disciples of Christ. We can't have a stand, Maurice, because we divided. So w even if one church stands, the other one might even be against them. I mean, it's like because there's division within, the government looks at us thinking you're non-essential. Well, they've declared us yeah, non-essential. It's, it's, it's really... In fact, now I read mm -hmm. lately that a charity now... Mm -hmm. Being a Christian organisation mm -hmm. doesn't qualify you to be a charity. It's got mm -hmm. to be more than that. You've got to feed yeah. the poor and do. But yeah. just being Christian is no criteria to be a charity. That's that's amazing. When yeah. when the church was the charity exactly. 200 years ago. Maybe because they know we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Well, they marginalise us. We're no threat to them. Yeah. They, they, could, they could put us on one side. We're yeah. not salt and light, you see. Yeah. So what about self-righteousness? Mm -hmm. How self-righteous are Christians and denominations? Mm -hmm. What about confessing that we've even started a religion? Lord, we should have stayed with relationship like the Acts of yeah. the Apostles. We've, we've allowed, you know, the Catholic Church was the religion formed it, mm -hmm. and we've come out of Catholicism, but mm -hmm. we've still kept a religion. Yeah. Now we're Protestants, Protestants. <laughs> you know, I don't know what we're protesting against now, but, you know, we've started another religion. Instead of saying we need to come out of Babylon, mm -hmm. the Catholic Church, and get back to the Acts, but we never did. We only came half out. And, and thank yeah. God for the Reformation. I'm not mm. criticising that. Oh, but no. It only came halfway out. It didn't come fully mm. out. Now's the time for the bride to come out. Mm -hmm. So forgive us our trespasses. You can use your imagination. Don't lead us into temptation. Mm -hmm. That's a difficult one, Joseph. Lead us not into temptation. Yeah. I'm saying it's difficult because I'm going to ask the question, why? Mm -hmm. When the Bible tells us that God tests us. Mm -hmm. So it's saying, God, don't test me. Don't tempt me. Don't Tem test yeah. me. Let me read. And then I'll give you the answer because it doesn't mean what we think it does. When it yeah. says, don't lead us into temptation, it's mm -hmm. not talking personally. Don't forget it's a corporate. So mm -hmm. it's not saying, Lord, don't lead me into temptation today. Mm -hmm. It's the church praying, don't lead us into temptation. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what temptation it is. It's yeah. very specific. That's good. But Just, first of yeah. all, let me show you that it's good. Mm -hmm. That if you say don't lead me into temptation and you don't know what it means, mm -hmm. you're actually speaking against the word of God. Mm -hmm. This is what James says in the beginning of his epistle. Mm -hmm. So James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, mm -hmm. greetings. My brothers, count it all joy mm -hmm. when you fall into divers different temptations mm -hmm. so he's saying count it joy when you when you're tempted mm -hmm. knowing this the mm -hmm. trying the testing tempting of your faith worketh patience so let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire mm -hmm. and lacking nothing so mm -hmm. he said it's a good thing count it joy mm -hmm. when you're tempted so how can i pray don't lead me into temptation i suppose to be rejoicing mm -hmm. when i'm tested okay uh, Matthew 5. So temptation is a bit like a test, is it? Yeah. When Jesus was driven in the wilderness to be tempted, yeah. tested yeah. of the devil. Tempted, mm -hmm. test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proved. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good because it's just, because I think some way it says that God don't tempt anyone. But he does. Yeah. He does test you. Yes. He does tempt you. God tempts no man, you're mm -hmm. drawn away by your own oh, lust. Yeah. But tempt can also mean, Test. tempt is like seduce. Yeah. I'm seduced, I was tempted with this woman, mm -hmm. she seduced me. Mm -hmm. But tempt also means to test. Okay. God tempted Abraham, it says. Mm -hmm. So God tested him, he proved him. Yeah. So it's like you put your child in for a test. Mm -hmm. You prove them to see if they'll pass. Mm -hmm. It, it, that's I mean, no for me it makes sense it, a different it's, it's use absolutely. of the word yeah Matthew absolutely. 5 so this is the sermon on we the mouth we need mouth. to be tested man yeah Matthew 5 yeah yeah verse and then the Beatitudes we've been mm. through it mm -hmm. Matthew 5 verse 10 and 11 okay Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. That's a test. That's God proving you when you're persecuted. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you, you, say all manner of evil against you. Mm -hmm. And he says the same thing as yeah. James. Rejoice yeah. and be exceeding yeah. glad. So when you're tested, mm -hmm. because it tests your patience. Yeah. When people criticize you, now you're, you're being tempted, tested. You're tempted to lose your temper. Yeah. David is asking God, to test him, search mm -hmm. him, search yeah. me, oh God, mm -hmm. know my heart, try me, test me, mm -hmm. prove me, tempt me, and yeah. know my thoughts and see if there's any wicked, wicked way in me. So it's good, Lord, test me, mm -hmm. see if there's any way in me. You that's know, a prayer. That's a, a dangerous <laughs> prayer. But he's just been <laughs> yeah. exposed with adultery and murder. Yeah. So that, it, oh, like, yeah. No, what else context, is it yeah. Yeah, he, he was self righteous. Where's yeah. that man? He, he deserves to die. Yeah. He said it's you. Yeah, and he thought, oh, yeah. I didn't realize he had murder and adultery in my yeah. heart. He's still there. Yeah, what else is in me, Lord? Search mm. me. See if there's any other wicked way in me. Yeah, you see, we need to be exposed. We need to be tested mm -hmm. to see what's in us. He was tested yeah. when uh, Nathan came and told him the story. Yeah. It was a test for David. You know, and you he should have said, yeah. "Oh goodness, yeah. that's me." But he said he didn't see it. He mm -hmm. failed the test. Mm -hmm. When Nathan told him and said there was a man and a sheep, mm -hmm. he should have thought, mm -hmm. oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. But he said, where's the man that he deserves to die? Yeah. And, and yeah. Failed. Yeah. You're the man, David. Yeah. You failed the test. I brought it mm -hmm. to see if you were open, but you're not. I'll have to expose you. You're the man. And I think it's, there's a lesson there, Maurice. In fact, maybe I just understood why God said he's a man that's my own heart. He didn't justify it. No. He 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 opened up himself and said, What is it? What else is in there? Against the only have I sinned. So he gave, he opened himself because sometimes, you know, when if let's say you con let's say the Holy Spirit helped you to convict me of something, it's very rare, Maurice, for us to say, Lord, what else is there? Yeah, I've been exposed. Yeah, if I've been exposed here, there might be a chain. Maybe, Lord, go to the deep, go to the root. And I, this is, that's a hard thing to pray, Maurice. Yeah. I mean, he had to have a revelation, which is good. Maybe it's good for us to understand that. I, I mean, it's devastating enough to think I'm a murderer and I'm an adulterer. Yeah. But you and don't all, want to go deeper and say, is there any more? <laughs> that's enough, Lord. That's, yeah, for, that, that's, that'll do for another six years. Yeah, that don't, makes don't sense. Don't bring anything more. Because... Because really, for him to say to God, search, search more, go deeper. See if there's any wicked. And you're thinking, you know, you, you know that word in Hebrew four, Hebrews four twelve. The word of God is sharp. It goes deep, deep, deep. Yeah. You can quote the verse, but when it really goes deep, that's a different thing. No, that that really helps me. That because now I know why God says. Because not many can expose, or be willing to expose themselves like yeah. that. Because they don't want to be tested. Mm. You see, when you've been tested, afterwards, mm -hmm. James says, it brings the peaceable fruits of righteousness. Yes, yes. When you realise the benefits of going through your trials and your tests, you say, Lord, that was horrible. Yeah. I, I, I really wouldn't like to go through that again. Mm. But I know the benefits, Lord. Test me as... But be gentle, Lord. I've said that, Lord. Expose me, but yes. only what I can take. Don't, yes. don't crush me. 
Yeah. And I don't think God will. It, it'll expose you, yeah. but it won't destroy you. A broken reed, it won't destroy. Morris instantly, as soon as he was convicted, the prophet said, your sin is taken away. That is already done. It's already done. He, he was a good man, David. He wasn't a wicked man. He said yeah. he failed because... Listen, if God took his hand off my life, I would commit adultery and murder. We're proud, you see. We don't realise. Yeah. We, we, we like to think, well, I've done that, but I would never do yeah. this. But deep in our heart, yeah. there's lust, there's murder, there's pride. There's and we don't want, we don't want to be open to be exposed. No. We don't want painful. to be vulnerable or appear to be vulnerable to God. Maurice, that's really, really a challenge. And uh, he, he, the, it is good. This is good. The most painful thing for any human being mm -hmm. is to know the truth about themselves. Mm. The truth about God is wonderful, mm -hmm. but the truth about yourself is devastating. Mm -hmm. We don't want to know the truth about ourselves, and yet God sees us. When we yeah. say, oh, God's, you know, I, I've got lust, I've got pride, I've got... Mm -hmm. God says, I know, I've been watching you for 20 years, I yeah. know. He knows. Yeah. We don't need to hide from God. All right, hide it from people. But you don't need to hide it from God. You can be honest. And if you're open before God in the closet, yeah. then God can reward you openly. Yeah. He can change your character. That's why like Peter, in Luke 5, he's, he, he, the miracle, he saw the miracle and he goes, you know, go away from me, I'm a sinful man. And Jesus probably said, I know. <laughs> now you're going to fish me. I mean, that realization is really powerful. And I like the, I really will exhort people to go through the, you know, the one that we talked about, the fruit. You have a teaching on the beatitude. Yeah. It talks about the fruit of righteousness. Because yeah. there's a righteousness that we have from the Lord. A but faith. The, but people, I didn't understand that we have the fruits of righteousness. Yeah. And that's what, you know, when you open yourself, yeah. like David did, and many, of, you know, and then you can now understand what it yeah. means to have yeah. the fruit of righteousness. Yeah. This is as you grow into... But it's only through the trial. Yes. The growing yes. age. You yes. know, if you want to grow, there's growing pains emotionally, yeah. physically, yeah. spiritually. Amen. Amen. We've got to decide when it says lead us not into temptation, what it means. Yeah. Well, it's obviously the church. Mm -hmm. So what temptation will the church go through? Mm -hmm. let, let me go through. It's a little study in itself. I'll try yeah. and be quick. Actually, yeah. But I believe it's mm -hmm. this hour of temptation mm. that's coming. There's an hour... When it says an hour, it doesn't mean 60 minutes. No. It no, means cometh no. the man, cometh the hour. Yeah. It means a period of intense testing. Testing. That's th yeah. That hour. Yeah. And Jesus knew mm -hmm. that it was coming. He had his hour of temptation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's look through John's Gospel quickly. Yeah. John chapter 2. John chapter 2. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Turning water into wine. His mother said, Whatever he says, do it. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, And Jesus said to a woman, mm -hmm. What have I to do with thee? Why are you pushing me? Yes. My hour is not yet come. Yeah. I think Jesus, don't forget, he'd never done a miracle. Before that. I think he knew that when he started to manifest himself, don't forget. Can't stop him. He went as a carpenter, yeah. not a miracle worker to the no. wedding. He'd never done a miracle, so it's yeah. the carpenter. He'd been baptised, yeah. and now he's going to a wedding. Mm -hmm. And she said, whatever he says, do it. Yeah. And he says, my hour is not yet come. In other words, as soon as I manifest myself as the Son of God, as soon as I do miracles, mm -hmm. turn water into wine, feed mm -hmm. five thousand. My end is near. I know it's coming up towards the cross. This is now John 7. John 7, yeah. Mm -hmm. When he's preaching to them and they wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. Verse 30 says, Then they sought to take him, Jesus, mm -hmm. but no man laid hands on him. Why? Because his hour, hour. was yeah. not yet come. Yeah. He knew his hour, mm -hmm. cometh the hour, cometh the man. Yeah. That's his baptism of fire. Mm -hmm. And chapter 12 now this is getting near the cross, near his hour. Mm -hmm. And he says, now is my soul troubled. I'm, I'm, I'm getting agitated. I'm troubled because I know I've got to pay this price. Mm. Fancy Jesus, sinless, mm -hmm. never separated from yeah. his father, yeah. knowing that he's going to be separated from his father. And he said, I'm so, soul yeah. is your body with the spirit. So it's affecting his flesh as well. Yeah. My, my yeah. soul, my whole yeah. body. 
is trouble. What mm. shall I say? Father, save me from, from this, this hour. hour. But for this cause I came to the hour. What should I say? Save me. And he did pray, save me in the garden. He did. Save me from this hour. He but did. he said, what can I say? Father, save me. This is why I came. I know I've got to go through. We don't realise how human Jesus was. Yeah. He had the fullness of God in his body, but he was a human being like us. And he said, what should I say? Save me from this hour. I'm troubled. I'm distressed already. And mm. I'm not even in the garden yet. I'm not... I'm not near the cross, but I know the price I've got to pay. Should I say, save me from this hour? This is why I came to die. Yeah. He's, he's working it out in his mind, getting yes. himself strong, setting his face like a flint. Yeah. He had to do that. If it said Jesus set his face yeah. like a flint, yes. it wasn't automatic. Mm -hmm. He had to have go it. You know, like a man, I've got yes. to suffer here. They're going to beat me. I've got to go have 49 stripes. You, you psych yourself up yes. for it, don't you, for punishment. And I, I can see, Maurice, even maybe you and I, you know, when we go to the battle, you know, the word of God comes back at you. Like here, he knows what he should be. He, he knows he has to do it, but he's still showing us the battle that's going on. Yeah. Shall I save me? Ah, I came for this. You, you know, you can you, you're working out yourself, but the word of God. What I like is that the word of God should come to comfort and encourage him. That no, 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 you came for this. So it's like that kind of. I like those kind of conversations because you can relate to that. Well, if it but, happened to Jesus, yeah. I should expect it to, yeah. to me to have doubts and fears. Yes. It's the they fears come and first. Are right. It's what you do with it. Yes. You overcome the fear. You yes. overcome the doubt. You say, yes. the word says it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Even Jesus feared. It said, because it's real. He feared, yeah. though he was a son, yet he feared. Yeah. So it's, it's that, all that's right. real. That's real. It's so, encouragement. And then chapter 13. Now it's getting closer, <laughs> verse 1. Now Every before the feast of closer. the Passover, so yeah. this is just before yeah. he's, he's going to uh, yeah. have the meal and be yeah. betrayed. Mm -hmm. Before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, yeah. it's getting close, yeah. that he should depart out of the world, so we know that's the cross, yeah. unto the Father, mm -hmm. having loved his own which were in the world, he mm -hmm. loved them to the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And chapter 17, verse 1. Now, this is in the upper room. They've had the, mm -hmm. they've had the Passover mm -hmm. and they've had the communion. And, the now hour. His, and now it's his last prayer before the, he goes out to be crucified. Mm -hmm. These words spake Jesus and lifted us up his eyes mm -hmm. to heaven and said, Father, mm -hmm. the hour is come. Mm. This is it. I'm going to be betrayed. Because he knew he said to Judas, yeah. what you've got to do, do quickly. Mm -hmm. So he knew he was going to be betrayed. So he said, Father, glory. I've come to it. Yeah. This is death or glory. This is, I've come to it, Father. The hour is come. Glorify me. That I could glorify you. But he's, he's facing it now head on. The main event. Morris, and Matthew 26. Is, yeah. I think the hour was in the Garden of Gethsemane, not the cross. By an hour is come. That was yeah. a test. Yeah. When he came through the Garden of Eden, he yeah. said, <coughs> the Garden of Gethsemane. That's in Luke 22 where he drops drops of blood. Yeah. So it like, yeah. But when he's yeah. been he said, through that will. test, then he said, come on, let's go. Yes. The devil's coming. Yeah. There's no part of me. I've Too already late. beat him. Too late. He's come through the test. So yeah. the test wasn't the cross. No. The test was in the garden. The accomplishment. But it, That's where he did. It yeah. was finished when, yeah. when, he, when, he were, <coughs> yes. when he came mm. through the garden. Mm. So when's the temptation, the hour... Mm. That the church will go through mm -hmm. because it said it's a prayer of the church, your yeah. kingdom come, but yeah. don't lead us into temptation. Mm -hmm. Deliver us from evil, deliver mm -hmm. us from this temptation. Mm -hmm. What's the temptation, the test mm -hmm. that will come on the whole church? Mm -hmm. This is the church in Philadelphia. This mm -hmm. is one of the churches that had no recrimination. Mm -hmm. They weren't told to repent. Yes. They, they were good. They were yes. two. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, mm -hmm. I'll also will keep thee from, from the hour, hour of temptation, mm -hmm. which shall come upon all the world, world. to try them that dwell on the earth. So there's a time coming mm -hmm. when God is going to test mm -hmm. and try the whole world. Mm -hmm. 
And it says, I'll keep you from it. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from it. You'll be delivered from that hour of temptation. Maybe that's because they're in the first resurrection. We'll miss it. When God's going to test and prove yeah. the world and purge them with fire, because mm -hmm. that's a testing, you're purging. Yeah. Keep us from, I'll keep you from the hour of temptation that will mm -hmm. try all the world. So I believe that's lead us not into temptation. Lord, when you come again, your kingdom come on earth. Mm. But when you try the world, mm. lead, don't lead us into that temptation. Deliver us, Lord. Mm. And I believe that's the answer. But I've got more than one scripture. Mm -hmm. Luke 21. They asked the disciples, uh, the disciples asked Jesus, when's the end of the world and you're coming again? <laughs> yeah. He, he tells them about all the things that how this will mm -hmm. happen and the wars, yeah. rumours of wars. Mm -hmm. And then he gives them a warning, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Take heed to yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is just before the judgment mm -hmm. when the world are tried. Lest at any time your heart be overcharged with satiety mm -hmm. and drunkenness, mm -hmm. cares of this life. And so the day will come upon you unawares like a snare. Mm -hmm. Deliver us from this snare. For as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So this is the same as Revelation. Mm -hmm. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these mm -hmm. things and stand before the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Pray that you're worthy to escape. Mm -hmm. Because it'll come like a snare, this yeah. test. Pray that you're worthy. So that's the Lord's prayer. Lord, yeah. lead us not into temptation. temptation. Deliver us from evil. evil. Yeah. Take us out before mm -hmm. you judge the world. Yeah. And I'm sure the bride will go up before the world is judged. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the tribulation. I'm talking about the vials when God mm -hmm. judges the world. Mm -hmm. okay. And the bride will, will be outside of that. And 2 Peter 2. And it's talking about the judgment. Verse 4. For if God spared not the angel that cast them down to hell, yeah. he's saying, how will you escape it? Even judge the angels. Mm -hmm. And verse 9, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations mm -hmm. and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. The mm -hmm. Lord knows how to deliver them. Yes. So we say, Lord, deliver us from the catastrophe that's coming on the earth. Don't lead us into that, but deliver us from evil mm -hmm. because it's the prayer of the church. Amen. So we've got through the Lord's Prayer. It ends with saying, yours is the kingdom, yes. the power and the glory. glory. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, it isn't. It's the churches. The church want the kingdom. Yes. They want the power and they want the glory. Fame. Everything. Because God promised it to Babylon. Mm -hmm. When Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel, uh, I think it's three, mm -hmm. Verse 9, I think, check it up, but it's Daniel anyway. Mm -hmm. God said to Nebuchadnezzar when he'd had a dream, God is, you're a king of kings. Mm -hmm. That's like Antichrist, yeah. king mm -hmm. of kings, the counterfeit. Mm -hmm. And God has given you yes. the kingdom and the power yeah. and the glory. So the kingdom, the power and the glory belong mm -hmm. to Babylon. That's why the Catholic Church want the kingdom, mm -hmm. Christendom. Mm -hmm. They want to, the whole world to be the kingdom of Christ, the kingdom. They want the power. Mm -hmm. And they want the glory. Mm -hmm. So that's the use of Babylon. But yours is the kingdom and the power. So what mm -hmm. we're saying is, it's mm -hmm. not ours, it's not the church's. Yeah. Oh Lord, come quickly. Mm -hmm. Your kingdom come. Because <laughs> you've got the kingdom, the power and glory. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus comes... He'll come as king mm -hmm. in great power mm -hmm. and great glory yeah. and bring the kingdom in. Yeah. So yours is the kingdom. You'll bring the kingdom mm -hmm. with great power and glory. So the church shouldn't be seeking the kingdom, the power and glory. It's Christ. And it, that's what we're praying. Mm -hmm. Lord, your kingdom come because yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. We can't have it till you come. We can't mm -hmm. have the glory and the kingdom yeah. and the power. But people want it. They want the glory now. We can't yearn for it if we think we have it. Yeah, uh, Daniel 2 verse 37 I've mm -hmm. got it in my notes if yeah. people want to check on uh, I think we can finish now mm -hmm. if you want to look at the parable where the king yeah. went away to mm -hmm. obtain a kingdom and came yeah. back mm -hmm. it's Luke chapter 19 yeah. verse 12 but yeah, I think yeah. we've covered the Lord's absolutely prayer. yeah we did and I was excited this is exciting this is exciting stuff you know we're learning as we go and Maurice you said before 
the more you do this, the more you just... It goes yeah. into you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Maurice, you should pray to close, please. Yeah. yeah. Lord, we pray that you will yeah. help us to mm. understand the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Understand that it's a prayer and a heart cry of the church. It's intercession for the kingdom to come, for Jesus to reign on this weary old planet. Father, I pray that you'll give us revelation and alter the way we think about the Lord's Prayer. Mm. Help us, Father. I ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you for the next study. Hallowed be thy name.